guys, so today I'm going to talk you through my September empties. These are all the products that I've run out of during the month of September. I'm just going to go through what the product is, whether I like using it or not, and whether I'm going to rebuy it. I do this at the end of every month just to give you guys the chance to see what products I've used up, so be sure to keep an eye out. I've only got four items in this empties video. I should have way more, as I went on holiday to Barcelona in September but I didn't bring all the stuff that I ran out of back with me just to save up on space because I only had hand luggage. So these are just the stuff that I ran out of whilst I'm at home. So let's start with one of my all time favorites. This is the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. I use this every single time I do a makeup, even if it's just a simple base coverage with mascara. It works so well. I love how cooling it is on your skin and one thing with me is that when I've got a lot of makeup on I seem to get really really warm so this allows you to cool down and it just feels super super nice on your skin I think it's really good value for money because I've got a lot of sprays out of it it's annoying because I feel like there is the tiniest little bit left in there but I will let that slide um, will I be rebuying it? definitely I may try the non matte one though just to see how I get on but as this product goes I absolutely love it Next, I have got my Revlon Colour Stay Concealer in light. I'm really annoyed because there's loads of product left. I'm totally thinking about investing in one of those little rubber things that can get the rest of your products out because it's so annoying when I can see a massive thing left of concealer at the bottom and I just can't reach it. So I think that I will invest in one of those little scraper things because when I'm reviewing products that's one of the things that annoys me the most is when I see loads of product left because I think what is the point? Um, will I be rebuying it? I do like this concealer but it just wasn't thick enough for me so I think I'm going to go back to using the other Rimmel one that's in like a little pot um, in a little red pot because I used to use that all the time like last year or the year before but I just tried to stare into more of like a, a liquid rather than a cream but I know that creams work a lot better for me so I don't think that I will be rebuying this bad boy would I recommend it yeah it's pretty thick I mean it does the trick I'm a poet and I didn't know it <laughs> Um, yeah it's pretty thick it's good color I think color wise this is a lot better than color wise this is a lot better I recently thought I'd test out Revlon's version look at the colour difference this is so much more natural than that that just looks like yellow and it just doesn't match my skin as well but they are both under this one's light as well I think oh wait no this is fair and this is light but to me fair and light should be two of the same so I'm really confused by the colour of this one so in terms of colour wise I much prefer this one and I think that that's got a better formula I'm so considering just throwing this in the bin because it is absolute so if it was between these two in the world I'd totally choose this one next we've got Nivea body lotion irresistibly smooth for dry skin and it's the sheer butter one love it I feel like a little slippery seal whenever I put it on my body this one's only the 75ml one I bought this originally for holiday didn't end up taking it with me because I couldn't fit it in my little hand luggage bag I left this when I get home and I've just been putting it on to stop my skin from peeling as well as after sun after sun as well as after sun and it's really done the trick I feel super smooth and I love the smell of it so will I be rebuying again yes I'm gonna get a huge bottle of it and would I recommend it 110,000% last but not least I've already spoken you through one of these before but this is my all-time favorite I finally ran out of it. This is Ariana Grande's Ari. I spoke you through the limited edition red bottle version not long ago. I love it so much. There's still, I can still get some of the scent up to describe it to you. I would wear this every day for the rest of my life. It is so, so gorgeous and I just love the little fluffy ball on the end of it, I think the bottle's gorgeous, the smell, it just smells like sweets which is totally my scent, I know that that's not um, up some people's avenue, that's, what I say. that's why I love Juicy Couture, I just love anything that smells like sweets, especially Rihanna's perfume, it's not like Skittles, so that was the one for me as well, but Ari by Ariana Grande has definitely been 
an all time favourite for me and it's really low cost compared to most perfumes so if you're someone like me who drowns yourself in it even though you may not need to then this one is a good one because you don't feel too bad about spraying it all over you all, all of the time because you're not it's not going to be like £80 for another bottle, I think it was like 30 so it's really good and you get a little fluffy keyring with it so I am so sad to see this one go. Obviously I'm going to be repurchasing this because it is the best thing in the world so, so goodbye love one, I'll be ordering you again soon but for now I'm so sad to see it go. That is all my empties for September, fortunately it's been a short but sweet one. If you have any video suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And one thing before I go, if you do like this makeup look that I've got on that is very, very green, I'll be uploading the makeup tutorial for that next time. If you have any suggestions of makeup tutorials, also please leave them in the comment section below. I'm going to be leaving the link to the blog with descriptions of all of these products in the um, description box. Don't forget to turn on my notifications, share and you can also find me across all social media at Molly Hads. So be sure to come and say hello. I'm going to leave you with a kiss and goodbye.